Hi, my challenge today is to teach you how to classify a medical device in Europe. My name is Munir El Azouzi from easymedicaldevice.com. But before to start, I want to show you a free course that I created for you. It's a course on the medical device regulation 2017-745. So it's the new medical device regulation that will be in place as of May 2020. And to have access to this course, just have to go to this link, easymedicaldevice.com slash MDR. easymedicaldevice.com slash MDR. So let's dig on it. How to classify a medical device. So we should start with the first thing. How many classes do we have in Europe for medical devices? This is the answer I will provide you now. In Europe, you have four classes, class 1, class 2A, class 2B, and class 3. And you can see here that the risk is incremental from class 1 to class 3. If you have a product that is class 1, it's supposed that it's not risky at all. And if you have a product that is class 3, so it means that it's really a risky product. But there is some subtlety for class 1. Under class 1, there are three subclasses. So if you are delivering a product uh, sterile, then it will be class 1S. If you are delivering a class 1 product with a measuring function, then it will be class 1M. And if you are delivering a product, a class 1 product that is reprocessed, like a surgical instrument, for example, sometimes they are reprocessed, then it's class 1R. This last subclass is really new to the new medical device regulation. So you know the class of your product, then what? This will help you to define what kind of certification you have to apply. For a class 1, this is easy. It's a self-certification. What does it mean? You have to create the document by yourself and have them available at your manufacturing plants. And you have to register your product in the country saying that it's a class 1. Easy. No need of a notified body, no need of anything else. But you have still to comply with all the requirements because if there is an audit that happens to your site, you have to prove that your product is filling all the requirements. And for that, you are normally signing a declaration of conformity. So it's a document saying that, yes, I respected all the rules that they are defined by the medical device regulation and I sign on it. Then for the products that are class 1 but that are sold sterile or with a measuring function or reprocessed, for those ones, it's a bit more difficult. It's a partially certified by a notified body. What does it mean? It means that the notified body is not certifying the full product, it's just certifying the, one of those three functions. Sterilization, measuring function, or reprocessing. So they will come to your site and just verify how you are sterilizing your product and all the validation that you have done for those sterilization. For the measuring function, they will look for example, to the calibration that we are using. And for the reprocessing, they will look at what kind of uh, cleaning you are proposing and the validation of it. And for products that are class 2A, 2B, or 3, those are fully certified by a notified body. You have to define which route, because there is many options you can choose, but you need to contact the notified body and ask him to come and audit your site or your product. You have to choose. Next, there are some parameters that you have to understand. First, it's the duration of use. So, if your product is used less than 60 minutes, then it's transient use. If it's used between 60 minutes and 30 days, it's short-term use. And if it's used more than 30 days, then it's long-term use. So, other things are the definitions. There are a bunch of definitions that you have to read to define yeah, what exactly are the rules that you have to apply. There are some definitions about the orifice on the body, with what is exactly a surgical instrument, what is an active therapeutic uh, device, etc., etc., etc. So my advice is just to read them, and then when you arrive to a rule that is using one of those words, then you know that there is a definition for it. Okay, now this is the part that you are waiting. The rules to classify your medical device. So, there is 22 rules. It's four more than the previous medical device directive, 9342EC. So, those rules are kind of divided in four categories. 
you have the rules for the invasive the non-invasive products first the invasive products the active devices and last you have some special rules here are the 22 rules with the summary of it but to help you i created a, a free form that you can use and download this form contains all the rules with exactly which classification it is for each rule because sometimes it's really difficult to interpret the rule and the classification of the of the product so i hope you will use it uh, to download it it's easy easymedicaldevice.com slash class okay now we know how many classes we need for a medical device in europe we know some parameters that we have to take into account we know the 22 rules i hope now let's see with a small exercise if you really understand how to classify a medical device first i want you to start with an easy one let's go with the manual wheelchair so i give you few seconds you can also stop the video if you want here are some hints for you so the manual wheelchair is non-invasive non-sterile not active and i think long-term use use more than 30 days so what do you think okay do you want the answer okay i'll give that to you so answer is easy it's rule one class one you see i make it really easy for you okay now let's increase a bit let's go for a blue bag so same thing let's see some hints and now let me know what is your answer Okay, waiting, tick tac, tick tac. Good. Rule two, class to be. This one was also an easy one. You can see that in rule two, the text says directly that a blood bag is class to be. Okay, I hear you, I hear you. You want more difficult? Okay, mm, let me think. What about a pacemaker? I think it's difficult enough, no? Okay, let's go for some hints. What do you think? It's invasive, it's long-term use. I don't think you use it less than 30 days or less than 30 minutes, 60 minutes. It's, I hope, delivered sterile. It's active and it's implantable. So, do you have some guess? You can stop the video, look on the form that I just asked you to download and then come back with the answer. I was sure you will, ha you will succeed on this one. So, it's rule 8, class 3. So let me know how did you find this exercise on the comment below maybe. Okay, this video is over now. So what I propose you is maybe if you want to learn more about the medical device classification, to just go and, and read one article I, I, I wrote on my website, easymedicaldevice.com. You can go and check for the link easymedicaldevice.com slash class easymedicaldevice.com slash mdclass. See you soon.